to the mid-80s inland. This report is brought to you by SaveOurWater.com. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places like the 10. Just actually, well, I just want to give you a heads up, and I can't see it because of the low cloud cover, but to now hammer on the 10, 7, 10, uh, CHP is telling us something about the East 10 transition to the 7, 10, maybe shut down. So uh, I'll follow up on that for you, but be careful if you're approaching. If, if it is shut down as you approach, just continue out to Atlantic or something and go south on that. It'll probably get you where you need to be. San Fernando Valley, boy, it's been busy morning, still is, but especially the eastbound 101, there was a problem at Parkway, Calabasas, top of the hill. Uh, but it's pretty much clear, but it's just slow. Planes go from Topanga out to the 405. Uh, tough morning. Your Orange County, a little bit uh, north of past Jeffrey before Nova to crash your lanes. The back of this Jeffrey, that's not too bad. North of that thing will improve a little bit. Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. All right, you just found out you're having a new baby. Congratulations, but you also realize I only live in a little one-bedroom house, and this is not going to be conducive to having a kid. So, you're thinking about upsizing now, where do you go? Opendoor.com. So you've got to get rid of that small house that you have, sell it directly to Opendoor.com. You've got enough on your mind, right? So when you do Opendoor.com, you're not going to have to go through all the prep work or the hassles of the listings and the showings. You're not going to have to do all those repairs yourself. Just go to opendoor.com, put in your address, give them a little information about your home, and then within minutes, they're going to take that information, compare it with homes that have sold recently in the neighborhood, and give you a real competitive offer. And I know this because I went through the process myself. It was so easy, and within just a couple of minutes, I had a real competitive offer on my house. So get your free offer today at opendoor.com slash KFI. Offer eligibility varies. Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokerage Inc. License number 02061130 in California and Open Door Brokerage LLC in its other market. When life's doors open, Open Door will handle the house. Learn more at opendoor.com slash KFI. California is in its third year of severe drought. Now more than ever, we need to save water. You can help by limiting your outdoor water use and switching to low water plants. For water-saving tips, visit SaveOurWater.com. Save water, save California. This report is sponsored by the Auto Club of Southern California. Are you paying too much for auto insurance? Visit AAA.com slash insurance for a free AAA full picture quote and find out how much you could save. Find competitive rates on auto insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today. If you're suffering from stabbing pain, numbness, cramping, tingling, or burning in your feet, legs, or hands, you may be experiencing neuropathy. Neuropathy is caused by damage to nerves, and it impacts the lives of millions of Americans. If you are suffering from neuropathy and have been prescribed a medication like Lyrica, Neurontin, or Gabapentin, there may be an alternative. Highly trained doctors are using a cutting-edge treatment to slow and often reverse the disease without addictive medications. If you're tired of living in pain, then call 855-4-GET-WELL. That's 855, the number 4, GET WELL. There's no surgery or prescription drugs. Don't wait to get relief. Call 855, the number 4, GET WELL. That's 855-4-GET-WELL. The first 25 callers will receive a full exam and in-depth consultation absolutely free. How do you spot a fake Republican? One look at Greg Rath's record. And you'll see, liberal Greg Rath's repeatedly raised fees on taxpayers. Not once, not twice, over and over. Greg Rath's raised fees on families like yours. Even worse, liberal Greg Rath's tried giving himself a fat pay raise on your dime. So don't believe the spin. Liberal Greg Rath's real record would mean less money in your pocket, more money in his. The better choice? Conservative Young Kim. A staunch defender of taxpayers, Young Kim is standing strong against the failed Biden Newsom agenda that's driving up costs and killing jobs. Young Kim, she's fighting to protect the border and enforce our laws. Young Kim, the conservative choice for Congress. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Paid for by Congressional Leadership Fund. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.congressionalleadershipfund.org The defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588. The Battle of the Red Cliff. Ending the Han Dynasty. Did motion sickness lead to the fall of empires? 
Vanda Pharmaceuticals is running a clinical study researching an investigational medication to treat motion sickness. Visit mymotionstudy.com to learn more. Brought to you by Vanda Pharmaceuticals. Gas prices at all-time highs, now's the time to donate. Running or not, your car can be picked up as soon as the next day. Donate your car today at carsforkids.org. 1 cars for kids. Donate your car today. This woman had a baby on an airplane. You know there's a bunch of a-holes on the plane going, <laughs> How late are we going to be? If you just play, stay in your seat. No! No! Hey, come on! on. The Tim Conway Jr. Show. Come on! I gotta get to Starbucks! Weeknights at 6 on KFI. <laughs> Uh, 640. Bill Handel here on a uh, Monday morning, or excuse me, Tuesday morning, May 31st, last day of May, and we're uh, effectively in the summer season, and uh, I want to share with you something about summer, and that is, um, well, for those of you that are in school, uh, summer is a great time, or we're in school, school is out this past week for the most part. And so we get all these summer jobs, and summer is a great time to work. And you have uh, businesses that, of course, are employing kids, and seasonal workers by the bucket full. And uh, we just came off of COVID, and things are just doing great. Well, be prepared for a whole bunch of businesses to be closed or have limited hours. And how did this happen? Uh, a lot of us thought this would be the first normal summers, uh, summer after two years of the COVID uh, disruptions. Eh, wrong. Still have this huge labor shortage, which means it uh, is not going to be the first normal summer. Let me give you some examples. In Phoenix, less than half of the public school pools are opening. City can't hire enough lifeguards. And without lifeguards, you're not going to have open pools. It's simply that. It's, it's that simple. Uh, they're even offering a $2,500 incentive payment. You come aboard as a lifeguard. Here's a $2,500 check. Nah. Nah. Not interested. Half the pools are opening. You go to Maine, where there are trolley lines in uh, these tourist areas, shutting down. No drivers. Restaurants in tourist destinations, well, they're still still opening. They're still going to work, but on very limited hours. Why? Well, the restaurant story is uh, obvious to all of us. Uh, it's now an old story. There aren't enough wait staff. There aren't enough cooks. There aren't enough managers go into a restaurant today and half the tables are empty. And the reason is really simple. I mean, I've gone up to uh, the hostess person, usually the female hostess person, and uh, it'll be a, a, a 15 minute wait. I go, excuse me, look at all those That's empty tables. Half the restaurant is empty. We don't have wait staff. Effectively, this restaurant is half the size that you're seeing. We just have a bunch of empty tables. Now, uh, these shortages push up labor costs, and that's a whole story in of, of, uh, of itself, of course, adding to inflation, uh, which is going to hold back theoretically, not so theoretically, consumer spending. And now the economy is affected and all of a sudden, the economy is uh, in a di uh, downward spiral, even though inflation is going completely nuts. Now, this all started, uh, the scarcity of workers started, uh, really emerged a year ago. Uh, the vaccinations became available, businesses reopened, the economy rebounded, and all of a sudden, the economists were telling us, more workers are joining the labor force, uh, the COVID fears eased, 
uh, the stimulus money faded, so people needed my jobs. Guess what? The shortages are still there and growing. That is the problem. Now, two key factors are in play, we're told by economists. First, the demand for workers red hot. Job openings double the number of unemployed people looking for work. Second, and we've talked about this before, and this is something, uh, and I've been doing this show and talking about this for a very long time. Workers continue to switch jobs. I have never seen in all the years, number one, I've been working or reporting and looking at this, uh, which I tend to do a lot because of this job, uh, never seen so many workers switch jobs and just quit, especially lower wage industries, to the point where employers are sending out ads, they're looking at uh, LinkedIn, they're doing anything to get employees offering more money, uh, perks, working conditions. How many times have I talked about that over the last few months? And uh, they'll make appointments. Eight out of ten don't even show up. It's not just a question of canceling the appointment, just ghosting the appointment. And if someone shows up, that in and of itself is a miracle for a job opening. And so someone is hired, thank goodness we have someone, and three days later, all of a sudden, uh, that waiter, that cook, that employee, that lifeguard, uh, that worker in uh, whatever industry that doesn't pay real high wages, but even those that do pay good wages, employee quits. Not two weeks notice, just says, I have a better job. Sometimes they even tell the employer I'm quitting. Sometimes they don't even show back up the next day, which was unheard of before. That is cl clearly the employee's market that uh, we are in. And summertime, well, that's particularly difficult for a lot of, especially hospitality, entertainment industry. Summer economy has a rhythm of its own. 30 million workers create about 10% of U.S. gross domestic product. The summer runs from June to August. We're taking breaks from work. We're taking breaks from school. We're going on vacation, which means restaurants, hotels, summer camps are open doing business. And if you look at those jobs, people that work there, fairly low paid. And it's just wild how people are not only switching jobs, but how many people out there are not working and they're looking for jobs? How do they do that? They've gone through their money, but you know what the reason, you know what's going on? People have not gone through their money. They still have money. And what that does is, so Americans don't say, we're not really good at putting money away. You know the Japanese pay a third of their paycheck. We're not even close to that. So a lot of Americans live hand to mouth. We spend money, we're a consumer, organization, a consumer economy. And uh, if you happen to own a restaurant, if you happen to own or involved in a tourist destination, be prepared. Be prepared. Coming up next Tuesday with uh, Rich DeMurro. We'll be back with that. This is KFI AM, AM640 Live, everywhere on the iHeartRadio. You can listen to KFI everywhere like you haven't noticed. KFI. KOST 82. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Starting to pay respect. I'm Jennifer Jones, we'll live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The first two of 21 funerals will be held in Uvalde, Texas, where 19 children and two teachers were killed by a shooter last week. It's heartbreaking, and I can't begin to imagine that two families with anything. Texas officials say Uvalde school police chief Pete Arredondo wrongly believed they were dealing with a barricaded subject, not an active shooter. Uvalde's mayor says Arredondo's scheduled city council swearing in ceremony has been canceled. Forensic genealogy has helped solve a 29-year-old cold case in Riverside County. Jail records show Douglas Thomas was arrested last week in Waco, Texas for the murder of Sherry Herrera, a woman from Central California, who was found by people collecting bottles and cans March 30, 1993, near the eastbound on-ramp of Hayfield Road, just 50 miles east of Palm Springs. It was hot that day. It was about uh, 80 to 85 degrees. 
with a slight wind blowing, and these folks just happened upon a, a very, very gruesome scene, and Sherry was um, uh, was strangled to death. That's Riverside County Sheriff's Detective Jason Corey. The case was featured on the May 21st episode of Unsolved with Steve Gregory. At that time, it was still unsolved. But last week, Herrera's son, D'Angelo Samaya, was notified his mother's killer was in custody. My understanding, he's 67 years old and not, not in uh, well health. So he got to live his life, and, and now... Now he'll fade off nicely. Thomas was also booked for the 1992 murder of a woman in Texas. Gregory Campine News. Three thieves have been caught on video shoplifting from a Sephora in Cerritos. A TikTok video shows three people all wearing hoodies clearing products off the shelves and into garbage bags. When they were done, they picked up their bags and calmly walked out. The LA County Sheriff's Department says multiple robberies happened at the mall Saturday night. It says the first robbery was in a Forever 21 store, then Sephora. The LAPD says a training officer has died during an exercise at the Cat Academy in Elysian Park. Officer Houston Tipping was doing hard hand-to-hand -hand combat when he fell and sustained a severe spinal injury. Officers did CPR, but a short time later, the 32-year-old officer died at a hospital. Chief Moore says Tipping donated his organs so others could live the officer's final act of selflessness. Investigators are trying to determine what caused a power outage in Culver City. The outage left nearly 700 people without power. Crews were working near Sepulveda and Slauson. This man who works at a grocery store across the street says he heard a boom. He says it didn't seem to frighten people at the store. We always get fireworks all through the year, so you never know. SoCal Edison says it took an hour to get the power back on for customers who were in the dark yesterday. In Culver City, Blake Trolley, KFI News. The Moulton Niguel Water District in Orange County has taught people how to drought-proof their lawns while saving money. The district's NatureScape program now includes a rebate for turf removal and half-off design costs. It's all part of an effort to deal with the state's drought. Ukrainian President Zelensky has asked for more weapons. ABC's Mary Bruce says President Biden will not send rocket systems that can strike into Russia. Republican critics were quick to pounce on this. Senator Lindsey Graham calling it a betrayal of Ukraine and democracy itself. The U.S. is likely to provide some long-range weapons, but not anything that can hit far into Russia. I feel the need, the need for speed. Top Gun Maverick has broken Memorial Day opening weekend ticket sale records. Box office sales say it brought in $156 million, passing Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Those ticket sales were in 2007. Those came in at $153 million. Maverick now holds the title for the biggest Memorial debut in history. We'll get a look at your drive with VKFI in the sky and follow up on the 10, but first it's Sports with Wayne. The Dodgers rallied from a 4-0 deficit to pull ahead of the Pittsburgh Pirates in the 8th inning. The Pirates answered with a 2-run ninth, however, and the boys in blue suffered a 6-5 loss. Manager Dave Roberts had this to say about the less-than-stellar pitching performance of Walker Bueller. I think right now it's He's trying to figure it out uh, on, on the fly, um, and I think the bottom line is that he's just not commanding the baseball. Game two today at 7:10 with Julio Urias set to start. You can hear every play live on AM 570 LA Sports. The Angels open a road series against the Yankees. That gets underway at 4:05 this afternoon. Noah Syndergaard will handle the start. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Checking your KFI financial report, the Dow is down 195, S&P down 22, NASDAQ down 45, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $6.17. And for the lowest gas prices in your area, you can check out our website at kfiam640.com, keyword gas. SoCal weather from KFI is sunny today with highs from the upper 60s at the beaches, mid to upper 70s for Orange County and Metro LA. We'll be in the low to mid 80s for the valleys in the IE, and then those inland highs should hit 90 by tomorrow. Stay that way into Thursday and then start to cool it down as we head into the weekend. Right now it's 59 in Rancho Santa Margarita, 61 in Encino. Let's get an update now on the 10. Well, a little bit of good news. First, good morning. Thanks for letting us right along with you. But if you're with us first time around here, I mentioned this problem in Alhambra. East 10, 710. We thought it was a transition. Uh, the event is over with. So uh, the bottom line, don't you worry about it. East 10 going through the 710, you'll be fine. It was a vehicle fire that's out. And that's about it. 
Now, a lot of little clouds in, uh, covering most of the basin, that's for sure. We're kind of trapped in the valley at the moment. But we did, uh, we were able to get a look at uh, Topanga Canyon up and over the hill. People leaving 101 down to PGA. That's in pretty good shape, really. It's a little swollen down. It'll side, but not too bad. A little windy here in the San Fernando Valley. PCH looking good as well. South 405 got off to a horrible start early in this morning. There's still about four or, well, three or four right shoulder problems working in between Burbank Boulevard and Sunset, but all lanes are open now, but it's just going to be slow on the uh, downhill side. Let's get past Sunset. Pretty good drive to LAX, and just want to issue a warning about LAX. I know it's been a confusing place the past few days, that's for sure, but the airport itself is just kind of busy on departure level. Be careful. Jeff Baugh, KFI in the Sky. This hour of the Bill Handel Show is brought to you by WDC Kitchen and Bath Center. Find the biggest selection of appliances and fixtures in Southern California at WDCAppliances.com, WDCAppliances.com. Hey, kiddo, ready to catch that move? Mm, almost. Wallet, phone, keys, mask. Yep, all set. Mask? That's not required, is it? No, but it's going to be busy and crowded, so I'll feel better with it on. You right? It is open at night. Let me grab mine. Nice! You'll pass the vibe check, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a mask when it can help protect you and others is just one way to keep each other safer. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Today is the day. It's the day you make sure yes, yes, happen. Sorry. Today's the day you call the weight loss experts at West Medical. From your first I'm nervous call to your very first time you hear, oh my God, you look amazing, they got you. Look, weight loss procedures are covered by most PPO insurance, but coverage is changing all the time, so lock in your benefits now. Today is your day to call 1-800-WESTMED or visit westmedical.com for a free consultation. I feel incredible because I called 1-800-WESTMEDICAL. Your results will vary depending on procedure selection. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What does Rick Caruso love most about L.A.? Our people, our communities, and the feeling that in this city, anything is possible. Caruso knows L.A. is facing big challenges, but we can turn it around. We can fix homelessness, stop crime, and end corruption. Caruso knows we can build a better city for all our communities. Rick Caruso, for the love of L.A. Paid for by Rick Caruso for Mayor 2022. Additional information is available at ethics.lacity.org. Summer is coming soon, and now's the best time to go solar with SolarMax. You can get solar for $49.93 a month, zero down, 0.99% APR. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say that keyword SolarMax, pound 250 SolarMax, or go to SolarMaxTech.com. Monthly payment available on approved credit, see SLB number 97204. Goal Zero, the leader in affordable home backup systems and solar generators. During a blackout, they can power your fridge, freezer, lights, Wi-Fi, TV, and more with clean power. Learn more at GoalZero.com. More stimulating talk. An iHeart radio station. All the latest on gadgets and stuff with KFI's resident, handsome nerd. It's Tech Tuesday with Rich DeMiro. KFI AM 640. Bill Handel here. Tuesday morning, May 31st. Uh, Brush fire in the Angeles National Forest. Uh, there was a vehicle that caught fire, and 48 acres have gone up. Small amount. Fire about 50% contained. They're going to grab this one, so it's going to turn out to be just a... There's a fire that's been contained, which is great news. Time for Tech Tuesday with KTLA and our tech reporter, Rich DeMuro. His Instagram is at Rich on Tech. Uh, good morning, Rich. Good morning, Bill. Okay, we've got uh, news to cover. Probably the most important news uh, that you and I have talked about uh, since, uh, I would think, the inception of us working together uh, is the news about uh, the Roomba. Yeah. Nothing like Roomba news uh, to really get us going on a uh, last day of May morning. So, yeah, yeah so uh, what's going on? It's just a fascinating uh, little device. It, it's, it really is the first true uh, home robotics uh, gizmo that we had, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's the first widespread robot people have in their house that they don't even kind of think of as a robot. And I think the part of that problem is that it just doesn't feel very smart up until now. So it does a good job. Uh, Roomba, you know, it was kind of a, a little bit of a laugh when it first came out because it was so expensive and who needs a robotic vacuum? 
But, you know, they've got millions of these in people's homes, and they do the job every day, day in, day out. I've got one. It's fantastic. Uh, we were just discussing this over the weekend, how, you know, it'd be nice if it knew a little bit more about our house. Like, it would be nice if it just automatically did its job every day, which are probably things you could program into it, but it's just a little complicated at this point. So with all that in mind, iRobot announced new software for...